Yo, what's up, guys? Maxi T here. And today I'm going to be smashing out not one, but five brutal social media challenges. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Woof, woof, woof. It's going to be absolutely crazy town, absolutely downtown in crazy town. Let's cut the fing and get to it. You. All right, it's the cinnamon challenge, so let's go. <laughs> Is this the content you want to consume? Does your taste run parallel to your excretory system? We live in the algorithm age. What you watch is dictated by precise formulas based on immense quantities of hidden data that aren't openly available to the public. Why? Because this data would reveal that the content that's amplified and sent whirling into your consciousness is primarily idiotic, derivative, sensationalist, tranquilizing, value-free garbage. You are not in control. There are a million things you could do in this moment. You will watch a man eat food with the shells left on. That's right, baby, B baby boys and girls, it's the shell on challenge, oh. and I'm gonna be eating stuff, food stuff, with the shell still on. F oh. You are feeling an addiction right now. Social media and online video sites operate on dopamine-driven feedback loops that prime you to chase both the consumption and anticipation of their content. They read you like a book. Your brain literally needs to consume this content. There are physical dopamine receptors firing off in your neural networks that crave what they're continually exposed to. And even brief abstinence can cause actual withdrawal symptoms. You are lonely, insecure, and chemically addicted to a barren landscape of dumb, vapid content. And right now, the only thing you want to do is watch me take the ice bath challenge, baby. Let's go. This is very unpleasant. <laughs> How do we consume as much of your time and conscious attention as possible? A quote attributed to Facebook founder and lecturer's villain, Sean Parker. Online platforms vie for your attention. They want to keep you locked in and engaging with adverts to drive revenue. Attention is the currency, but it is a finite resource, just like fossil fuels. And just like fossil fuels, we're burning through it. And just like fossil fuels, we really shouldn't be burning through it. Uh -huh. Recent study from the Technical University of Denmark showed that the collective global attention span is narrowing. Items competing for your attention are more densely packed than ever. And now, we're losing our focus. Focus on me, not on that, on me. Can you feel yourself expiring? Would you like to watch me eat some ghost chilies? They're very hot. Okay, so maybe your attention spans a little shorter, but surely social media isn't pernicious enough to actually make you dumber. Well, exhibit A, use of social media for news consumption is negatively related to political knowledge levels, journalism and mass communication quarterly. Exhibit B, IQ scores in developed countries are declining at a worrying rate, the Ragnar Frisch Centre for Economic Research. Exhibit C, you're about to watch a man do the dizziness challenge. <laughs> okay, it's the final challenge, guys, where I'm gonna spin for 20 minutes. All right, let's, let's get dizzy. And what about me? Can I wrap myself in cynicism and irony and transcend what I'm actually doing? I am spinning for your entertainment. Read my lips. Maybe we have it all backwards. Better technology, increased connectivity, quicker, easier, more accessible content. Shorter clips, simpler intentions, memeified politics. Blinding attentions and I'm still spinning around in sensationalized content that skews national elections and makes us sadder and less functional and I'm still spinning. Do not deceive yourself into believing that this lazily put together, lightly researched subversion of something marginally more terrible counts as meaningful content. And this f***ing guy, an eroding trust in public institutions and don't look at it too closely, just watch. The algorithm watches us, but who's watching the algorithm? 
of what are you watching?